Welcome, episode nine of the Puck Daddy podcast. Merry Christmas. Oh, let's do it. Gonna change the world. Christmas episode. Nice. With my hockey stick. Gonna make a real difference. Feed the poor and heal. You know, by the end, like maybe episode like 100, I the might. end? <laughs> I, I was going to say by the end, and then I realized there is no end to this yeah. podcast. <laughs> it goes on and on, goes my on, friend. Infinite and beyond. <laughs> podcast that never ends. Yeah. By, so then I just I picked 100. Okay. It's a nice round number. <laughs> yeah. I'm giving myself a chance. I might actually have the right pitch to sing that. Because I, for the life of me, I can't, I can't hit notes. I am not pitch perfect. Hey, watch what you say to yourself. <laughs> watch how you speak to yourself. I'm, you I'm can just, hit notes. I don't think Jeremy you is can a hit notes, musician. Sure. You can. Some people are born. The notes with of hitting the, the post. <laughs> I can make the pipe sing. Eh? Yeah. I can make the Whatever pipe sing. Whatever you put your mind to, you can do. You think I could, uh, you know. I do. H- I think you could do notes? anything I you're tried? capable of, whatever you put I your like mind to. like the positive energy. Can, can, you, can you coach me? Do you know how to sing? Yeah, I could coach. I can be, I could be a singing coach. Okay. I can hit the notes. Freestyle. <laughs> Freestyling. The voice of a an star angel. is born. Podcast. A star is born. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> um, that's a <laughs> eh. okay, hey guys. If that happens to you guys, if you're trying to go chase your dreams, be a singer, and people are, you know, xing you out, that's okay. You keep going. You keep showing up. <laughs> this is the voice. This is the voice. <laughs> keep showing up. Keep showing up. That's a no from me, keep dog. Keep showing up. <laughs> so I, I sense uh, some Keith uh, from Harry Styles had an ex, didn't he not? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, his, his, his X Factor audition, I think he no, did. I, I'd be more like Keith yeah, from um, was it not America's Got Talent? What was the one before that? Was Keith it? Urban on American Idol? American Idol? Not Keith Urban. No, American Simon Idol. Cowell? No, it was the voice. It, it, it was no, it was American Idol. It, one of the earlier seasons. Randy Jackson. There's a, there a kid named Keith, and he's got like this green like sweater, kind of like yours, Hayden. And he wants to be the next star. And he. he have, just, you, have you seen the Shebangs guy? Shebang. Yeah, yeah. So Shebangs. he was a few seasons later. Oh, she wants oh, to. Oh my God. She move. She move. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so he was. I the, swear, people just wanted to get on TV and troll. That's hilarious. It's it, okay. Look up Keith American Idol. His audition. Oh, Keith Urban? It wasn't Keith Urban. That's what I said. It's oh, not. He wasn't I am good. Out of it. He was not good. Why are we talking about for this Christmas know, it's episode? Hilarious. I'm oh, saying that would be me. I just. It's Christmas time, Jeremy. Right. I don't even know what song you were talking about. You couldn't sing. Any of them. Let's do Christmas <laughs> At all. jingle. None of them. Oh, jingle oh bells. My gosh, jingle oh my bells. Change the world with my hockey stick. The, the opening song to our podcast. Oh, the theme song. Jingle yes, I'm saying. All the way. By a hundred episode, a hundred maybe I'll actually be able to hit the notes. Oh, oh I see. I got. I'm you. lost right now. Yeah, gonna change is... the world. Yeah. I'm gonna mute Jeremy and Chippy, and I can just talk. <laughs> what are we Jeremy, talking about? Jeremy's Merry Christmas, saying, everyone. Yeah, we're talking about what it means to Happy be holidays. a puck daddy at Christmas. Puck daddy Christmas special. Yeah. How to have the most puck daddy of all puck daddy Christmases? There we go. I wanted to. Uh, I think we should, before we uh, like elaborate on what it means to be a puck daddy at Christmas time. Mm-hmm. I think we should. Think back to some of our more fond hockey uh, Christmas memories. I think essentially that is going going to reveal. But I, it's going to lead into it. Perfectly. All right. Okay. I love it. Okay. Yeah. I love it. What was Christmas to you? Is that what we're going with? Really? Yeah. Like I feel like as hockey players, hmm. when you think of Christmas, you think like at least for me, I think of like mini sticks in the living oh. room. I think of new hockey net, new hockey stick for Christmas. You want to mm-hmm. test it out on the driveway. Yeah. You got a new shooting pad, all this stuff. You you got all the gadgets, right? You want to try it out. I always think like hockey and Christmas for me go hand in hand. Oh, yeah. Um, and like the OD. The season. If you're lucky enough, you can skate outside yep. before yep. Christmas or on Christmas. That's the best. In a way. like So we're all, we're grown up now. Are we? Are we? I don't know. Are we? Are <laughs> I, we grown I, up? I, I might be a little young. My, my parents aren't buying me Christmas gifts anymore. What? Really? No, I no you don't get gifts? No, no. Really? I don't get to that gather stops. around the tree. It does. It yeah. I got a little something My for dad moved year. to Egypt. Hey, I got a little something oh, Where there you. isn't a hockey rink within 2,000 miles. I didn't know that. I'm learning more about you every day. Yeah, my my dad lives yes. in Egypt. He used to live in Iran or something. Too. What, what, there's no such thing as shipping? <laughs> yeah, they don't have shipping in Egypt. <laughs> hey, dad, let me just fly out to the pyramids real quick. I, and we can sit <laughs> around the can, the the. Fireplace. The Christmas pyramid. <laughs> Put a little star rate at the top. Yeah. There, yeah. Uh, yeah, I said I got you something for Christmas. Oh, you did? Yeah, already. Oh, shoot. Well, I got you some coal. You record- guys only deserve coal. Oh, man. <laughs> Santa's bringing coal this year for the for you boys, eh? You know what? All I want from you, Hayden, for Christmas is a nice crisp pass right on the tape. 
Oh, right. Good luck. Good luck with that. <laughs> hey, good luck with that. That's a big ask. <laughs> Just a crisp pass on the tape. While okay. we're in the zone, do I, I do I hear fluttery pass through the slot in the air? Here, I, I mean, I know I want it in in the ozone too, right? Like you'll give it to me early while yeah, I'm the I will put it in the ozone, the ozone layer though in the <laughs> sky. <ozone> layer. <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll give it to me when we're breaking out, so they can get it back, and then he'll skate back. Come on, now, go, put you it on my give stick. and go. Yeah, you give it early. You yeah, give it up early, early at set of ice. I did that one time at pickup. I I did the give to Jeremy. Yep. He goes on the breakaway and does the between the legs goal Come instead on. of Whoopsie. passing it. Whoopsie. <laughs> My mistake. Sorry about that. Those are worth more than assists. We already know this. Let's yeah. let's talk about when it was a, a two on one with an empty net. No. Um, and sh- <laughs> I muted Jeremy for a second. <laughs> ra- rather than passing the puck over to me, and the defense was was clearly playing the shooter. I'm just over here, just ready to pop. And and Haynes like, hey, looks did at I me. score? <laughs> hey, we've all been. He there. looks at me. He's like, uh, "Oh, you want this? Nah, I got a better idea." He flicks it up on his stick and goes, "Whoop!" Lifts it over the guy's head. It wobbles in the air, lands in the crease, and goes, "Whoop!" And rolls in the it's net. An open like, net, man. Yeah, what? you got it. Honestly, I've uh, yesterday I was a little bit selfish on a couple two on ones. I wasn't passing a thing yesterday. <laughs> yeah, you, you were driving was, the net. I was driving the net. I was shooting everything. You got to do the old Mitchie Marner. And you, you you know take it to the net and then just leave that drop pass right there. You pull Especially, the goal that you suck. When you haven't had one yet in the game, it's like, hey, I'm passing them off here. No, now it's time for me to take over. And I didn't end up getting one, but I got a nice. Assist. You should have had me on your line. I would have set you up. I know we should have been we next. Buzzing. Yeah, you know, we set the lines. We, we worked. I don't know. To be honest, I just I was on the ice, and then I didn't even know who was on my line until like halfway through the shift, and I was like, oh, okay, I guess these are my lineies now. But yeah, I should be more intentional. <laughs> yep. I, I forgot we had because we usually we don't have perfect matches. There's like seven guys or eight or nine or eleven, and it's like you kind of roll through the lines and you end up with whoever you like. This is Jeremy with. just making an excuse because he doesn't like to come off the ice. We were on the big ice yesterday. Big ice, big yeah. Blue. I, oh. I, I would have been benefited from your speed. I would have seen you winding up. Like, Here you go. I had yeah. I had both four breakaways yesterday. Take, I take it and go. A single one. All right. Next next uh, game we'll go in lines together for sure. I'll, I'll make sure. Let's do it. Make I'd sure. like to. Um, Get back on track for the the right. Christmas, oh, Christmas. Christmas Christmas spirit. Christmas. I'm gonna I'm gonna share a fond memory I have from Christmas, and then you guys can share one as well. I, I, absolutely, and I think this it. is great. Well, like I said, we're all grown up now, <laughs> right? Yeah. And us sharing what meant the most to us when we were youngins. Presents. You know that that gives some great ideas to the puck daddies out there who have the the youngins to make the most of their experience of Christmas to make it memorable, to create those long lasting core memories. Yes. Isn't that what life create is a new all about? Core memory. Right. You don't let time just go by day after day after day. And then you look back and be like, what do we even do? Right? You got to have as many of those core memory opportunities. Yeah. Right. Definitely. So here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So for me, one of my more fond memories looking back around Christmas time, I don't know if it was actually like on Christmas, but that's okay. Um, my dad, always used to make a backyard rink and he'd get the skating trail back to it so you could put lace it up inside and skate Legend. down that was, is a good dad right there. yeah great dad the always puck daddy. The puck daddy he was always out there an hour before he knew that we would want to go out on the ice flooding the skating path flooding the rink getting it nice and smooth and it's funny because i remember all of that and i remember like playing pickup with my brother and my dad just the three of us and the thing that i remember the most is getting pissed off because I couldn't score on my dad. And I just oh, remember man. two handing him in the back of the leg. Oh my. Because I was so mad. And no. The, the, he turned and looked at me. And in that second, I knew that I had messed up. <laughs> but oh, like, no. I just remember b- just because, like, obviously he enjoyed making the rink and he knew that I was, I just couldn't control my emotions. I remember him like showing me mercy and, right. and just, and being like, you're going to go inside, cool down. And you can come back out and play as long as you get a handle yourself. That is exactly how I imagined your dad would handle that. Because he, he, well, he just looked at me. It was like the look of just like, did you really just do that? (laughs) Like, like I knew that I his back, his legs bleeding. (laughs) How how do you feel about how he handled that? Great. Like Uh, I look back and I'm like, I hope that I could handle myself that well when I have kids. No, that's a great example. And your dad is such a beauty, and he is so like. He's he's very present minded. He's very intentional about his words and his actions and yeah. stuff. So it's exactly how I thought. What? How would you have felt if he turned around and, and just body <laughs> checked you into this snowbank? Just sent you? Would that be okay? I too, mean, or? looking back, I'd be like, I probably deserved it. But <laughs> that's what I'm saying that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but, Is that okay? But in the moment, I feel like it might have made that memory not a good one. 
Right. Because it would be like, oh, I ruined a fun night. Right. Because I allowed, like, because my dad actually, it wasn't a good. Well, now Pops has to kind of <laughs> owes you now because he just bodied you. He kind of has to, you know, like, <laughs> That's what you I'm know saying. what I mean? Maybe now it's a better night because now Pops and can't you know, and you, you know what? He, he started to let you. me score after that. No, I can't. Exactly. <laughs> that, that's what I say though. Like, Im- imagine you just two hand your dad in the back legs. He turns around, and looks at you, and <laughs> just drops the shoulder. <laughs> and, now, and now he and has to be nice. He implants <laughs> you right into the snowbank. Now he has to like pull you, start you out. Crying, because... you start crying. You you make him feel bad, and now. No. And then it's kind of like, all right, all right, I kind of deserve that. And, I don't know you kind of look back at a memory like that and, and laugh, you know, maybe yeah. not in the moment, but like it's probably good that it was my dad and not my brother. Oh, you're, yeah, because I that would have been a different story. I would have been getting a spanking or something from your brother. Darby would have just <laughs> bat you right over his knee. Jeez. No, younger brother. We used to we used brother? to fight for yeah yeah younger brother. How, how much younger? Uh, he's a year older than you. So and you're I'm 27. So how old is he? He's 24. Good math. 24. I, I said he's a year older than you. How old are you? <laughs> you got you got a body you got to body him. What's my age again? Oh, years. I'm telling you, I did. That's okay, the problem. Okay, I'd okay, get in okay. trouble. Okay, I, I, I thought about that this as a draft for for the Puck Daddy drafts that we do. Um, torture techniques that your brother or you use, like the sibling tortures. Oh, like sibling um, rivalry torture. Type yes, stuff. and I, I know this is off topic. Mental but torture. <laughs> I, I gotta go here because just the absolute worst. Maybe we'll do the draft. Maybe not. I just get this first pick. All right. I'm no, just, we, I'm I remember we're doing the Christmas movies draft. Yes, yes. I know. I know. I, I just. I'm just going to drop one. Jared just wants, to, just wants right to. Yeah. Because I don't. I, I, I want to hear if this ever happened. You had an older sister. I had a sister. The yeah. The torture she, would just be going to my games. She didn't <laughs> like. Ho- she didn't like sports. She was it. Was it your teammates? Like, hey, what's your sister's number? Is that the torture? <sighs> Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. <laughs> um. No, so, so maybe this happened to you. I don't know. Or maybe this was like a, a Rupke specific. Like my brother just invented this and, and he knew. Let me know if this ever happened to you. Growing up, the absolute worst thing, because there's a lot of little torture uh, techniques, uh, the pin and the loogie hang. Did you ever get or what? give the loogie hang? Where you, where you spit, and spit and on it and let it fall down. Come and then on. and then suck it back up. Yes. Who are you guys? Yes. You guys are doing yeah, this. Have, it was oh my first, God. I've never I done it I to my brother. Around you, you guys. Never did that to your that. brother? I've never done that to my guys, brother. Oh my gosh! I did it in insane. over like over the sink just to see how far I could. Oh, go. okay, yeah, because that's normal. Like when you're like yeah. you get that sticky saliva and you're like. But I'm not like. What did you? What did he tie you down? Yes, why, why didn't you yes. leave? Oh my god! I was god. little. I was my brother was uh, stronger than me. And oh, he held you down. He would. You. He would run around and chase me, be play fighting or whatever. And you're like, you know, I'm getting him, and he gets me. And then after a while, Come you know, on. he wanted to assert his dominance. He would pin me down and hold my arms, right? And I'd be like, let me go, let me go, right? You know, little Shit. brother. And then he he would start to lean over, like, no, no, no. And it's like it was only at that moment when this this had that oh. perfect elasticity, right? Oh. Right. And and he would let some out. And then I'd be like, no, and I'd see it coming, and I'd be like, and then you go. And oh, that's out. even worse. I, I, right? It's even worse to watch it but, happen. But the thing is, <laughs> hit you. more would accumulate, and he'd let it come a little lower and a little lower. And, come and, on. and once it got to a certain length, like almost touching my nose, like I would get filled with the strength of a thousand men, oh. and I would throw him off of me, like all of a sudden. I would just be like a super man, and or he just felt bad enough that he let you. No, no, no. Rage oh, would set in. It, it is actually the worst. Like I'm still emotionally. Uh, I never had resp- a brother, so I guess I don't know. I never, the situation. I never it's- did that, but I, I do know that there was multiple times where I'd pin my brother down like that. Yeah, the pin, the pin is. I, yeah. The pin just worked like crazy, yeah. and I would take, I would go with his eyebrows and go like this. <laughs> Oh my God. I, I didn't make him make funny faces, and then eventually I would laugh so much that he would be able to push me off because I'm like he's he looks, so, and then oh we wouldn't be mad anymore because I was making him make funny faces, and we're both laughing, and oh, then okay, that's yeah. good, that's did good. Do, did you ever guys ever do like me and my buddies used to do this? I never brother, but like my buddies were essentially brothers. Like, did you guys ever do like the burp and blow it in your buddy's face? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my God, An age old. Yeah. Class, that, that's yeah. disgusting though. My buddy, you'd be eating like egg salad. And you got lunch, and you would just rip one and just blow it right in your face. It's yeah. arguably worse than a worse. fart. It's worse. It's <laughs> oh. way worse. And, it's and way worse. The trick is to gather it in the cheeks first. You get the full burp. Oh. The, uh, and My buddy was a master at it. Like, he was so, like, <laughs> like, it was just so good. And you got to purse the lips just perfectly and just let it puff out. So nothing, nothing getting, but the. I have, like. Did I'm you getting, ever, have you ever tried to do the burp snart? Okay. What? Okay. This is new. This is new for the kids watching. Have you ever tried? What is it? Apologize to the parents it's, listening to this. It's, <laughs> it's it's a burp 
a sneeze and a fart all at the same well, time. You can't sneeze on demand. That's no, so so here's the thing. Have you, you have you ever oh, sneezed no. and farted? Have you ever sneezed and farted? I I don't recall. Like, okay, where you does have the sneeze a, come from? I don't really put this in my journal. No, so the thing is the sneeze you can't force, right? No. But a fart you can feel brewing. Mhm. So if you if it ever happens that you need to fart and you feel a sneeze coming on, all you do is burp right before you sneeze, and then the fart pop comes right out. It's a burp oh, snart. <laughs> where, are we, where did this Christmas You know where I learned that from? Go. It's a family friend neighbor that his dad was like, have you, you ever you burp snarted before? That's and I was like, no. And then I tried to do it for like a year, and then I finally did it. Hey, happy holidays, holidays, guys. Happy holidays. <laughs> but Holy if, crap. It, would, would the stomach implode? Like if that happens all at the same time, is that dangerous to the, the, the lungs and stuff? No. It's not actually identically the same time. Guys, I don't like even know what we're on and right a now. sneeze and a fart. What are we talking? Let's about get back right to now? Christmas yeah, memories. Yeah. Jeremy, what's a fun what Christmas menu or chip you want to go? Sorry, oh, sorry, I know I'm taking over now. Sorry, guys, I took over. that off topic with okay. it. And then I could just just went full force into it. I've I've got another great one, but I will save it for the the draft, or maybe we'll just do like sibling rivalry stuff because there was another technique. I'm sure you guys have experienced, but we'll save it. Say your Christmas thing. No, not yet. No, you go ahead. I'll go though. Okay. Christmas. Fond Christmas memories. Fond Christmas memories. Doesn't have to be ready. hockey related, uh, but it'd be nice. And then I just got distracted with blue <laughs> Schnart. farts and whatever we were on. It was, okay, Christmas memories. Um, the biggest one is like the Boxing Day World Junior. And my, oh. my greatest, but my greatest memory was Canada US um, New Year's Eve game. Um, it was John Tavares was in that Eberly. I think I was. We were that's, down. That's fond for like. Any Canadian. We were down three it. nothing, but this yeah. is my experience. We were down. Th- I was at the game. My dad and I, we we, we put face a paint all over our face. Nice. Oh, nice. We got the sign made up. It was Canada rules the ice. Oh, and nice. And we we were on the big screen, and um, we were down three nothing in the first period. You up to the U.S. and then Boo. John Tavares came back with a hattie. Oh yeah. yeah. And it was like. Unbelievable. Electric. Yeah. Every Electric goal, you guys are just going oh, nuts. Well, well we tied it in the first. We were down 3-0 in the first, and we tied it 3-3 in the first. Mm-hmm. And then it was just a crazy game. I remember that. I think I was in my family friend's basement when we were watching crazy that. Crazy game. It's just something about like being with your, especially with your dad, when exciting. So, like I remember yes. a Leafs game where Sundin took a slap shot from like literally just outside the blue line, far top right corner. I think it, I remember was it that. The the double clutch? Was it the double clutch? Double clutch. I think. He winds up, he yeah. comes down. I and remember then, that. I, yeah. Yes, that was and playoffs. Like, and like it was in the playoffs and I was in my friend's basement with the big plasma screen. Yeah. yeah. And like I was playing mini sticks in front and watching. In oh, front of the TV. best. Oh, that's so the was, best. And, and like with my buddy, we're playing. And then like we hear the tension of the announcer and we look up and we're just, we all just like, yeah. Like where your dad's watching the game, you guys yeah. are playing the mini we're sticks. Mini sticks and right it, in front. And, and then, you're not really watching the game. And then it's yeah. a big goal and you're like, oh. Well, cool. I was like, I was watching, but only like when I heard the tone of voice. Right. Where oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Joe Bowen only, changes. Yeah, 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 like yeah. I was old enough to know, but not old enough to be like, I'm just going to sit and watch yeah. the game. Yeah. You're, you're there. Yeah. You're, you're trying to bang go some mini stick goals. Yeah. And and then you you see the replay and you're like, okay. And you come in and you try the same move, right? It was the best when you're like, you're at your buddies with your, but your dads were there too. And your dads are yes. buddies, like, yeah. and you're the all energy you know, is just oh. yeah, hundred hundred percent. We used to do the same thing. So my dad was uh, renting a basement apartment at the time, and the the people who was renting from were huge Leafs fans, mm-hmm. and so were the neighbors. So uh, every weekend, uh, my dad and and uh, you know all of us would go upstairs to the to the guy's place, and then the neighbor would come over, and we would all sit there, and it was just such an experience for me because I'm like a kid, I'm with my dad, we had the neighbor, and then the other neighbor was an older guy, he was like in his 70s, so it was yeah. just like everybody's different perspective on the game and hockey and how right. each of them experienced it. it Where was, are all the fights? Right? It was <laughs> so wholesome, like different people's reactions and how they like, oh, I hate this guy, he's such a terrible analyst. I'm like, who cares? He's just on TV, he's just, just chilling. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's gotten it easy. Well, settle, settle down, down. settle down. Yeah. And, and like the yeah, the backyard or the the armchair coaching that goes on, right? Yeah. It's so fun. shoot, shoot the puck. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they shooting? They're on the power play. Yeah, the Leafs. That was the that was a classic Leafs right. one. So so what I'm hearing from uh, you two is uh, what really makes a difference over the holidays. Make it a puck daddy Christmas. It's the attention to detail. Just going a little bit extra. Like you could have gone. To, you could have just watched the game, right? Yeah. At home. You went to the game, which obviously makes it even better. But yeah. on top of that, it was the face paint. Yeah, like, it was the face paint. You could just take someone to the game, but as a dad, like you've got that control to make it the experience even more to to amp it up. 
it it really is in the hands of you know whoever's in control. Like, creativity. Like I think yeah. the key is like just be creative and like yeah, don't just like be boring. Like, right, well, like yeah. if you're gonna go to a game, you gotta throw the paint on, get the yeah, jersey on, get make the, a sign, make, make a, a sign. sign. Right? Ah, it's yeah. those those small details that that make the difference, right? And you know, with your daddy making the rink, obviously that's a little more. That that's not a small detail. That's big. Yeah, but like that memory you probably didn't really appreciate it as much when you were younger like oh cool dad's making a rink like it's kind of like expected yeah. maybe mm-hmm. right but now that you're older you could probably really appreciate that he did yeah that, exactly right? yeah and i want to shout out to my dad too he made a rink as well nice. day. so shout out to you dad nice my, my my dad uh we only went to see him on the weekends and um we had to make our own rinks it was terrible <laughs> my brother and i were trying to make hockey rinks at like 13 we had no idea what we were doing we were like in our boots and we're stomping Back down snow. snow yeah. We're spraying the hose on. <laughs> we had all the best ideas. We actually made our own um, rink, like a, a full on arena. We wanted to have a full on arena. My uh, mom had a farm, which is nice. We had the land. So we took the tractor and we like flattened the land. We worked on it all summer. We had a post hole digger and we were digging the holes That's ourselves. That's the best, like creating stuff. As, we as we a cut kid. down trees, we cut down cedars yeah. in the woods. We took the branches off them and we, we put them in the holes as posts because we didn't have any money. Like, like we were just okay. Yeah, you're like, out there creating. You're like, um, one of our sh- unreal, yeah. one of our sheds fell over, so we took all the steel roofing off the shed and we made all the boards out of it. Like huh. we spent all summer building this rink, and then the problem is we had a bad winter and we didn't have very much. Co- oh. And, it, and it, like so we we built the ice, we put in all this work, and then it rained and we lost it, right? And then like we tried and tried and tried and we just we didn't even skate on it once, and oh. <laughs> and and probably for the best because we used steel roofing as the boards we probably would have cut our like Die. rub one guy into the boards and there goes like you know all the no. skin on your arm or something but yeah 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 i would say i wanted to tap, tap into something like the creative stuff like yeah. i remember like me and my buddies we'd be the mini sticks we, we, we made like a, a mini stick net out of wood oh yeah so we yeah, got yeah. like the two by fours and yep. and we were drilling stuff in we were hammering we had no idea what we we're doing no we, we ripped the mesh off the other mini stick net that was no good anymore we made this wood net it was called nice. the old faithful yeah, and it was the dopest mm-hmm. thing. Like you just like same thing with like um, bike jumps. We'd go out dig oh, dirt, like just down. dirt jumps, and we'd be out there making stuff. And I think that's the most fun. I think like, a lot to do with um, the Christmas spirit and just like being a puck daddy through the winter is you yourself and letting your kids be with people that are like good people. Good energy. Like, yeah. like you, you, the memories you have are going to be with the people that. Yeah. you love and that you like being around right yep. yeah would you say like surround yourself like with good energy like is yeah that- like as a parent it's your job to give your kids the best opportunity to have people in their life that are going to be a good influence on them mm-hmm. you can't control everyone they're friends with yeah but you can control like okay why don't you why don't you hang out with with this guy over the holidays and do set up some play dates and like yeah. why don't you go and go to uh, pick up hockey with this guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like you su- you suggest things that like your kid normally wouldn't. S- set yeah. them up for success. You know, you send them over to your friend's place, be like, hey, why don't you bring that mini stick, right? And then you know they're yeah. going to be playing mini sticks together, right? Yeah. Like, my mom used, my mom was the king or queen of doing that. Yeah. She'd be like, oh, why don't you go see what uh, Cody's doing today? You going to bring your guitar? <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Right, like that was Plant such a seat. classic. Plant yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what about traditions? You have like any things that happen every year? So obviously the, the hockey rink is a big one. I mean, it it was every year f- up until I think I was like maybe 13. Then you or... build that rink yourself. <laughs> yeah. Let me teach you some hard work. I think it was just because we were too busy with. Yeah. And like we weren't home enough to. You probably skied. Use... Oh, actually, you didn't ski, did you? Not really. Only every now and then snowboarded. But yeah, but yeah tra- like Christmas traditions, it's like. You like the the Christmas Eve dinner? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's the, the best the thing. Average, like, yeah. yeah, normal, normal. Because um, yeah. I just think like a tradition. Some of the, the things I remember the most as a kid was not something that just happened once. It's something that happened every year. It, it and if it just happened once, I probably wouldn't have really had that memory. Mm-hmm. But just because it happened every year, it really li- it sits with you. Of like it, you know, yeah. it, it it is a collection. It's it's maybe fifteen years worth of memories all. You feel it all at once. Yeah, I think it's great to my, come up with some traditions. My yeah. mom was like, like, she's like loves Christmas. Like, right. so like the other day, she was getting her snowman collection put up on the on the counter. Like, it's the the whole house is decorated. Yeah. The yeah. lights outside. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's the 
yeah, the ham. I think New Year's Eve we have ham. Beauty. And then it was nice. before we'd watch The Grinch every nice. New Year's Eve. We'd watch The Grinch, like, yep. um, the stock. New Year's Eve know, or Christmas like, Eve? Christmas Eve, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Christmas Eve. I was like, who's uh, watching The Grinch on New Year's Eve? No food <laughs> yet today. I'm starving. So if I'm. <laughs> He's fading. He's fading yeah. a little bit. But then it would also be the milk and cookies for Santa. And then me and my sister is so bad. We'd put a little salt in the in the milk. We oh put my oh my, we were so bad. <laughs> hey, it, yeah, we were so bad. I'm not gonna say why we would do it because we knew what we were doing. Hey, and no, Santa needs the electrolytes. Santa right? need, yeah, Santa needed it the, helps. The, the, the milk. The, I don't even know what we put in there. It was, <laughs> it was so bad. I mean, my sister were like, I was like talking to her on the phone. They're like, remember when we used to do that? And oh my like, god, it helps so bad. <laughs> it helps. I'm gonna make a skit on rehydrate. That. Helps them rehydrate for sure. <laughs> it's sweaty, you know, going up and down all those chimneys. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, so for me, my uh, Christmas, like what, what made Christmas really special, we're talking about like the, the two-week break that you got. The two-week break. Uh, yeah. Cutting down a Christmas tree, loved that. I never did that. But we have, yeah. a, we have a real tree, but I never cut it down. Right. I mean, these are all like, like that was one for me too, or like pajamas on Christmas Eve. Right. Get new pajamas. Oh, yeah, bed. yeah, yeah. My mom had that. Those yeah. for us, yeah. So, yeah. so like we had, there was a Christmas farm nearby, so that, obviously made it easy but just going to the farm there was a wagon ride out it was always cold they had hot apple they cider the horses pulling the wagon yes yeah, ho- that's horses classic. pulling the wagon Jeez, that's right? hilarious. so it was the whole thing that was the experience Th- I, this farm did it really well it's like i looked forward to getting cups and cups of hot apple cider the hot chocolate yeah they they had sausages that they were making there so it's like Don't you know mention that right now <laughs> <laughs> sausage right? italian sausage so that that was big going out and cutting down the christmas tree that was always a fun experience looking forward to that every year uh for me getting the rock'em sock'em tapes from don cherry mm. like i would get those we touched on that last episode yeah yep. <laughs> I, i get it christmas day i'd open that up and i would just watch that for the whole like because you don't have to go to school right all day i'm just like i'm throwing this on I had the tradition watching a new year's did you get uh, the popcorn or do you get the stick out while you're watching no nah, i would <laughs> well, the first one i just need to watch it right did, you, did right. you ever ski or snowboard like was that part of your christmas holidays uh no like we went the odd time but it wasn't a part of, but that, that would have been a great tradition like i would have loved that if like we, I just know that I'm going to go skiing at least once over that break. Yeah. That'd be great, yeah. But yeah, I was a big, big ski family. We were a big ski family. Nice, nice. How can you do that and play AAA? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's on. I say I might be the most athletic, uh, coordinated person on this earth. Hey, I'm not saying I, I'm not saying that? you can't. I'm well, just do, saying. Hey, well, sh- I do I got to play... bring up the ping pong real quick? <laughs> I haven't brought this up yet, and this has to be brought up. Uh, the other day at the hockey hotel, the boys decided to hop on the old uh, ping pong. They muted me. No, no, I got pushed back. I that, I, was, I, that was mine. <laughs> okay, go ahead. The boys were at the hockey hotel, and oh, what was in the garage? Oh, there was a there was a ping pong table, a little table tennis, I should say. And you know, for me, when you can play table tennis, you like you you know you you go in pretty confident. So I go in pretty confident. Like these boys are, oh, you play table tennis? Yeah, I play table tennis. And so Hayden and I started to play, mm-hmm. and we were going at it. And Hayden's actually really good at table tennis as well. And we were both rally and had some really good rallies we're doing pretty good yeah really good we were actually really good we had like one rally that was actually insane oh we that uh, that's probably the best rally i've ever had honestly it was absolutely we were like talking and we just weren't even thinking it might have been like 10 minutes at least yeah and one of the things that i will say is a lot of time when i play ping pong I'm like I'm just like yeah, just kind of rallying. Yeah, yeah. Or like yeah. when I played you, it's like oh, I can actually well, we try. Can, yeah, exactly, just, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So usually like this is riveting stuff, guys. Let's uh, move along. No, okay. So then Jeremy comes in. Jeremy comes into the mix. He goes, oh, what are you guys doing? We're playing. We're playing. We're playing uh, some table tennis. So we started doing this. You come in, like a uh, three man. If you lose the point, you swap. You out. have to swap out. So it was longest streak. King, king of the table. It was king, king of, of the, the table. table. And who was the king of the table, guys? I think you got Jeremy. Like, who was the king of the table, guys? <laughs> no, it was Chippy. What was it, 14, 13 in I a row? I will say there were some pops involved. 13 so, in a row, 13 so I'd, straight. Hey, I'd like a rematch. I would also like to say these guys played for like a full hour straight before I showed up. We did. We were warm. no No warm-up rally for me. I just jumped right in, so I only got to no, play. Like, but you, you played for like an hour after. I, I know, but it like <laughs> what I'm saying is one point at a time, right? So it's I, like ding, ding, ding. Okay, I'm out. Ding, ding, ding. I didn't really get a chance yeah. to feel the you, table no, you're, get yeah, you're, you can up, play. Right? You can play. I think not on my level, but just you because play. your rally. Not no. I I would I would put money down. I would put money down. I would go at you. Oh, nah, nah. It, Hayden, it, Hayden though. Hayden, uh, we had we Chippy, had a you, Chippy would destroy Jeremy. Nah. I think Chippy and I. Uh, yeah, would that's be pretty tight. close. It, yeah. Well, because like we when we do a, game, a full we rally, played, we played one to twenty-one. I said eleven. He, I was up nine to seven. 
and he beat me 11 to 9. And then I said, oh, let's go to 21. That's and a, I made the a, mistake. That's a that. half game. We should keep going, Hayden. Well, there go. And then we had a game. To, it was deuce. It was 20-20 all. We had to win by two. I think I you won 23-21. Yeah, it was yeah. it was a battle, but I had to bring that up because... Now every broadcast, we have to hear a great yard. Yes, we do. Hockey yes, and we do. And I, have, I am the king of the morning. table. I'm the king of the table right now on the uh, table I'm, tennis. I'm going to go out Daddy and say... Table. But who's the king of the super deeker? I, I, that's Ooh, you. That's, <laughs> yeah. I, haven't, I, didn't, I haven't touched a paddle in like 10 years. You get me a table and... It sounds a, a like day. a lot of excuses. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's super deeker stuff. I hadn't touched a super deeker ever in my life until that hockey hotel. So wait, just wait. Just wait. It's so <laughs> Whoa! I would I get up there to sixty three yeah, or something? Yeah, I, I had yeah. one, a couple. Like, give me some time. All I'm saying, you get me a, a table tennis uh, table and not and a day, yeah, and I'm good. I'm, I'm crushing. Go. No, I know, I know some tricks. Right? I was just taking easy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. I don't want to ruin your moment. I love it. I'm bringing. It, I'm going to bring that up every day until, <laughs> until you guys beat me on that table tennis. Oh, All right. So so yeah, fondest memories. Christmas back. Then. We're back again. We're back. Yeah. Sorry. Um, table tennis at back Christmas. Back to your regular schedule. Uh, also, so we're Dutch, and my dad would make Oli Bolen, which is basically deep fried dough with raisins in it, and you dip it in icing sugar, and it was just like. I like raisins. A lot of people say will say raisins are gross, but I think that raisins. I'm are not gross. a huge. I liked fan raisins of them. as a kid, and then as an adult, I don't really like them now. Really, it's usually opposite. It, it's usually opposite. If, if I get the oatmeal raisin cookies, and you think they're I chocolate eat chips, you think they're chocolate chips. You're like, oh, I nice. won't eat them. You take a good. bite, and you're like, oh, they're, they're yeah. So if good. they're not, if they're not chocolate chip, it's not even close o- to chocolate chip. Oatmeal but chocolate chip, oh, supreme. That's oh, way better. Stop. O- oatmeal raisin is acceptable. It's okay. No, but it's not. I won't eat it. What's the best cookie? Ooh, those cookies, those peanut butter cookies yeah, that you had the other day were insane. Like I was, I'm gonna make those. you guys some cookies this uh, this Absolutely. winter. Absolutely, that's Wait, awesome. Are you a cookie guy? Every I, week, every I, Monday, every I, Monday. I have a office. recipe from uh, my grandma. They're Come on, ginger molasses cookies. Ginger molasses, and she would call them um, molasses crinkle cookies because they because oh, they when you cook them, I like they, the sound of that they like kind of break away in like little oh. ripples and they just melt in your mouth they're like heavenly oh. and I'm not exaggerating I will I'm no. planning on making some I'll bring you guys one and tell wow. me it's not the best make an extra had. batch for Sammy oh it's got to be the the, the cookies <laughs> yeah. at Christmas like just like oh the, yeah the that's pastries it. the the, the brownies the... Yeah, the I think food is a huge part of any holiday yes yeah, so so, yeah. so let's talk about what we can do uh, for the puck daddies out there to make your Christmas memorable to, to create those core memories to, you know, I'm all about like sharing experiences. That's really like that. You look back on your life, you remember things, you have to make things worth remembering. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and it does take some time and sometimes not even that much, just like something small, just I do something small. As a, I'm, I'm not a parent, but as a, someone who's grown up, the memories that I remember most are when my parents did things with me that I normally wouldn't do, right. even if Different. it's just like coming out to toboggan with my brother and I on Christmas right. instead just of just sending us out there. Yeah. You know, like coming out, bring the dogs. I make, love that. Make it a whole family event and it's more fun. Yeah, you know, just yeah. do something different. My dad's out there helping us make a jump and make it perfect instead of us like rip, like making yeah. it. Like yeah, that, that's amazing. And you yeah. know, and that's the thing. It's like normally, oh, dad's too busy. No, we got to clean. We got to do this. Oh, I'm, I'm working on a project. You guys go out and play while mom and dad do their thing, right? It just takes one time. Just I will one. say that my parents were pretty good, but that's the to me that's the difference for like making good memories. Oh, well, yeah. for sure. Like, yeah, parents are always involved, right? But you can't yeah. al- you can't always be playing with your kids. Exactly. Right. Yeah. But if if you're normally like, oh yeah, I can't right now, but I'll you know later or whatever, then just take take that one time. And sometimes, to be honest, the kids don't want you there, right? If you're yeah. if, if you're a dad, you're like, no, dad, leave us alone. Like, yeah, let, yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. it's more fun if, if you're, you're just ripping boys. around and goofing off and not having your dad like give you the look. Like, what what is yeah. What's wrong with your what head, you kid? What kids do it? <laughs> you know, you're going to be, be, goof, be a goofball every once in a while, right? Mm-hmm. But yeah, just once go out and, and get involved. Like, you know, dur- take the Christmas break, the, the holidays, to, to do something yeah. special, to do something different, to, to mix something in there. So something that I've been doing is for the World Junior Tournament, right? It's, it's obviously amazing. Definitely uh, around Christmas time, all the it's, time. It's, New it Year's. starts on Boxing Day. Yeah. Yep. And it's the World Juniors, all the best hockey players. We watch that. It's on TSN in the States. I don't know where you can get that, but you know, find that broadcast because it's the best uh Average. Yeah, best like 19, 18, 17 year old kids going against each other. It's an epic tournament. If you're not watching, you gotta watch it. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. It's it's electric. It is. Good it's stuff. always exciting hockey. It's the Olympics of of like 
Yeah. But it's better the because prospects. they haven't been paid yet. They're, they're, no. they're still, like, playing for their country. They're like, raw. They they're, got the confidence. Like, yeah. It's it's more – they take more risks. The high-end yeah. talent is there to, like, prove themselves for the NHL. Yeah. Like, yep. Draft yeah. year, yeah. yeah, like yeah the, guys they, have been drafted, and it's like – They're trying to get drafted. They're trying to show their best, right? Yeah. So they, it, And it really matters. They're trying to win something for their country. Like, that's – it's a really great tournament. So we watch that. I mean, obviously, my Mason's seven. He doesn't really care that much about it, but I try to get him amped up. I get him wearing t- Team Canada stuff. Right? I'm like, yo, put on the red shirt. Put on your stuff. Like, put on your jersey. Let's go. Let's watch it. So I'm amping it up. They don't really care that much about the hockey, but, no. like, I'm, I'm trying to get them involved and, like, make it exciting. Uh, what I've been doing is, uh, f- for the boys, not for the kids, I get beers from every country. So, like, Canada versus Germany. I'm getting some German bo- beers. Uh, Sweden. Yeah, that's Finland, legendary stuff. Right? So it's that's like, sick. Let's, yeah. let's have a brew, watch the game, and have a, a Russian Did I watch beer. a game with you last yeah, year? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think I watched one. I think it was with Russia, and I cracked, we, we cracked a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was fun. Uh, and then for the kids, what I've been doing is I make a meal from... The, yeah, you go hard. Uh, like, it's, you should document this. Like this is you, you got to eat. This is next right? level. Like from every country we're playing, it's a different meal. This is insane. So you're yeah. playing Slovakia. Studying the meals of every country. You, you just, I just go up and look. Okay, top ten. So Jeremy, it's not Christmas. It's World Junior Holiday. <laughs> oh, for sure, it's a World Junior Holiday. For sure, it it's is. A cultural <laughs> cl- culture right. clash. But that's yeah. the thing. Like talking about Hayden, it's like when you do something different or unique, right? So the kids are used to like the meals they eat throughout the whole year. But then now we're gonna try some like potato onion soup from Slovakia. Oh, don't right. stop saying these. <laughs> Wonderful Chippy food. Chippy stomach I'm is just starving. like starving. Well, so, so we invited some neighbors over, and we said, "Yeah, just bring something." And oh my gosh, like they, a potluck for a different. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like, so they were playing bring something. The donuts. I bring the donuts. Something, something easy. Yeah, I'll bring some. Sure, I'm gonna go to the store and grab some donuts. Well, that's the thing. It doesn't really matter. You can buy some powdered from the store, donuts. Yeah, I know right. Like for for uh, you can bring something homemade or something. Like yeah, for Switzerland, I went and got some Swiss cheese, and you Ooh. know, like you know, I did some fondue. Nice. Well, yeah, you got invite the neighbors over. You bring yeah, something. I'm gonna pick which team I want to be at your house for. Oh yeah, German. Based on the food yeah. and the and the beer. Swedish food. It's good. Oh yeah. Yeah. You just go to IKEA and just load up. Yeah. <laughs> that meatballs. Oh, someone and oh, people in the comments. I put it on my Instagram. They recommended like, oh, try this, try that. Crepes. You gotta have Swedish crepes. Oh. Oh yeah. A, also, also my, a Dutch buddy, thing. my buddy's mom was from Sweden. Like so, like growing up, like we should make these little Swedish crepes. Oh, nice. Aren't they like? Actually, more kind of like lunch than dessert over there. Or you can do anything. You yeah. can. They were so you have them like with syrup, like they're, they're, oh, they're, I like, they're like meant pancakes, like, like, no, like, like crepes. They were like, uh, okay, yeah. They're I know what a crepe is. I just thought do that there know? was. Do you? I thought you like could you have it with is. like with like fruit and egg and stuff, like something. You, the savory like ones are a thing. Like you get a meal out of it. It's basically a wrap. Yeah, you do yeah, like like, yeah. You could do it with yeah. You put anything you want on that. It's it's basically eggs would be great. Right, you roll it up. Right, like a crepe with Nutella. Right. Maple syrup. Oh my god! A little butter on What's there. Some, some, some blueberries. Maybe put, a, maybe put a Big Mac in a crepe and just. I'm probably out. going to get a Big Mac <laughs> right after this. Like I don't like. Don't eat it, but it's great for the moment, and then you feel terrible. So, but so so that's what I've been doing uh, for the kids, you know, and and obviously it's like you know build a snow fort with them. Uh, play mini sticks with them. I play you, mini sticks. You got it. Like I would, every day I'd be dad. Can you play mini sticks? He's working up in the office. I got it. I got it. How about because this is easy. Pepper them and net. This is easy. Organize a mini stick tournament. Yeah. Oh, oh you got to go right? play the mini sticks is like unreal. Yeah. Like. In, tell them to invite their friends over, and you just do a. We're doing a little mini stick tournament. That could easily that's, be. That's gotta go net though. That'd Dad's core, gotta go net. That'd be a yeah. core memory. F- that'd be a core memory for like everyone that came. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. And like all the kids would love it. All the kids. The dads would love it too. You put the dads in net. The kids playing out, and you just you can make the little bracket. That could easily grow into like because the next year yeah. the kids are like, can we do the mini stick tournament? You know they'd be asking oh, yeah, for it every year. Anyway, that's the puck daddy Christmas idea for you guys over the holidays. And usually uh, the hockey takes a break over the holidays as well. Yep. Like you know, you, yeah, you, you, you're not on the ice. So what do you do? Get the boys together. Speaking of breaks, we're probably going to take a couple weeks off the pod because Jeremy's going to Florida. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, must little, be nice. Little family vacation. Must be here. nice. Must be nice. <laughs> it's going to be nice. Yeah. But stay tuned. Chippy and I might do a couple yeah, vlog videos or something. Yeah, All right, right beauty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, what about you guys? Got some ideas? Uh, how can you make the Christmas uh, break the, the best? Get your kid the thing that they want the most. That always is the yeah, best. Spoil them. That's, the, that's the easiest way. <laughs> <laughs> I, every year, I'd be asking. Watch for our a Christmas. Bike. B- watch our best Christmas gifts for hockey player video. On oh yeah, we got the channel. YouTube video up. Uh, the best Christmas gifts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a watch, great one. Watch that yeah. for next year. By the time you see this, it's probably a little bit too late to order oh, that kind fair, of fair, stuff. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, get your get your kid the thirty thousand dollars snowmobile. Get him the. <laughs> 
$15,000 dirt bike. Uh, everything he's wanting on that Christmas list, it's probably long. It's probably a long I would list. say I'd say take him to a game. Not even an NHL game. You could take him to like an OHL game. You know, take him out. Yeah. Yeah. They're, yeah. That's a good experience for sure. Cool. Do something unique and different. Uh, start a tradition. Could be something, you know, a- anything. Um, and, you know, spend a little extra time with the kids. And obviously a little, little hockey. Mix a little hockey in there. Could be Bring the world the of energy. hockey. Yeah, Bring the energy. And if you don't have kids... Do something nice for the boys at, on your team. <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, get get the guys all together. Season of giving. It could yeah. be something like as simple as that. Just get, like you brought the special beer to the last game before the holidays or something like. Yeah, that. Or, <laughs> or or just like have a little, little potluck. Get all the guys to bring something and hang out in the basement and, and watch the game together. And you always yeah. do that. Like they Make know that a coming. tradition. Yeah, it could be a tradition, right? That'd just be something, unreal. Something simple. I feel like you just we got to do that now. <laughs> I I want to. Yes, yeah, I could go it. for a potluck. I could do that. A little fu- barbecue, a little fire. I'm bringing. Right, I'm bringing the powdered donuts. Let's <laughs> let's get this draft going. Uh, what, what are we doing? The best Christmas. We're doing the best Christmas movies. Best Christmas movies. I'm gonna. I judge. would love to do. Oh, you're gonna judge. I'll okay. judge. All right. Cool. I hate yeah. So. Rock, you know what? Um, we didn't have a TV when I was a kid, so if I wanted to, you know, watch a Christmas movie, I just had to pretend. All right, Chippy and I are doing rock paper scissors. Rock paper scissors. Oh, I won one. Yeah. <laughs> Hayden, finally. Act like, act like you're holding eh? it down. You just press it. Nope. Act like you've been here before. <laughs> we we glitched the the horn button. All right, let's get this goal. Let's go. Let's draft. Wah, 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 wah. What do you got? Number one, because I'm going to swipe you. I'm going to swipe They're you. They're ready to go. Oh. Right out of the gates. Oh, my gosh. We're, go. going, we're going that hard, yeah. are we? No warm-up. Let's, let's go. What do you got? Here. Best Christmas movie of all time, Christmas Vacation. I 100% agree. That's so wrong. No. Um, no way. I, actually, you know what? There's some debate there, but That's I, so I love Christmas Vacation. That's so wrong. I'm about to wipe you on this. Um, gosh, I know what's coming. Home Alone. Yeah. Home Alone is the only draft you need on this. I mean, I, I think a lot of people would agree. Home with that. Alone is the only Christmas movie you need to watch, except for my other draft picks I'd like to have. <laughs> I would argue that similar to last week on the Happy Gilmore thing, that Home Alone is You're crazy if you don't think that's a Christmas no, movie. No, no, it is a Christmas movie, but it's not the most Christmassy Christmas movie at all. Oh, it's not but this is just the best Christmas movie. It it happens during Christmas. Yeah. It, it is legit. The kid is home alone for Christmas. That's like, say, have you seen Daddy's Home 2? That's like saying that's a Christmas movie just because it happens if at Christmas. If you do not think, okay, comment down below. Because it's a comedy. Home Alone is a Christmas movie. It's a comedy. It, 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 I think it's it's traditionally, like, I watch it during Christmas. This isn't we traditional watch Christmas I, no, I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing that I wa- would watch that around Christmas time, but it's not a Christmas movie. It's the only time I'll ever okay. watch it is Christmas okay. time. I, Christmas I, I like both your picks. It's I, a Christmas movie. They both contend for the number one spot. They both and have, I, and I got one that's even. They hold harder. their merit. I got another. I think one. I know where you're going, and I think yeah. you're right. We'll see, but let's go. Number number three, Hayden's second pick. Santa Claus. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> Tim Allen. Yourself. Just playing yeah, yourself. Tim right Allen. Now. Okay. Playing yeah. yourself. That's a solid pick. You can't go wrong with um, that. Um, this well, is this should have this should have been number one. Uh, no. This way. is the Grinch who stole Christmas. Oh. This is the so, Grinch wait. who stole Christmas. Is that the? We're I going mean, Jim are, Jim Carrey. Are you going Jim Carrey? Oh, or the, the original. original, the original, the original Grinch. The original Grinch. Okay. The original Grinch has to. If be. you were going Jim Carrey, I would say I disagree, but I it has I, to be the original. The Grinch is yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, solid, solid pick. Yeah, that's a great one. Oh man, I'm going down my list here. Uh, Aiden's third pick. My th- my third. Oh, th- third old. Yeah, your third pick. My third pick. Hmm. Doesn't even matter. How are we? Going to swipe How are we thinking? There's so many. Doesn't even matter, Hayden. Hey, doesn't even matter. I think I gotta go. With Elf. Oh, okay. Solid. Okay. Yeah. Solid. That is a good. That's a good. Yeah. yeah. At third, there's a I, lot of people and, that will argue that's a first. And pick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say after three, I think I've already won. Wow, that's such a. When I, when I'm bringing this, what I'm about to bring right here, this is the greatest Christmas movie of all time. And we were talking about it why don't you the show. pick a number one? Then this is the greatest Christmas. <laughs> this is because I, because I knew it. Because I, I'm just so elite on what you're gonna pick for what I'm gonna pick. Oh, okay. This is the. If you guys have not watched this Christmas movie. This is your job now to watch this Christmas movie. Okay. This is Four Christmases with Vince Vaughn. Oh my and gosh, Reese Witherspoon. Okay, and it off is, the board. It is yeah, the most. I, it's off the board, but I'm telling. I'm putting you on. It's off the board I've because you're not it. put on yet. I've seen it's the movie. Because you haven't been put on. I yet. love it. But I, I've, I've it's, seen the, it. Exactly, it's one of the best Christmas movies ever made. It's a solid movie. But you know what? Again, it's more of a comedy. Sol- solid pick. Good. That's, good. The best good movies are comedies. Sol- solid pick. Good guy, yeah. and it rounds out the team. You know what? It brings something to the oh, team. Great. I got traditional. I got. Right? Oat stuff. I got mm-hmm. goat stuff. I got okay. putting you on. I've <laughs> got two notable movies that are not drafted yet. I'll, I'll call them out at the end, but I, I'm I'm counting on you guys here. 
I'm going, and this is kind of back to my childhood. I think I'm going with uh, Rudolph. There it and is. Those reindeer. There it is. Yeah. W- arguably, I mean, the movie Elf was based. Yeah, because they had like some of the same characters. No, no, they they, they basically they just took this movie, said we're making Rudolph. Yeah, but, like, and using all the, there's actually characters in it. It's literally like the same like, taken yeah, from it. Yeah, yeah. They, they lifted it. Uh huh. Yeah, and and then obviously yeah. So yeah, arguably you, you could put that before Elf, but I just think Elf was such a genius. Rudolph is like all, iconic. It's an iconic. It's um, anyone can enjoy that. Yeah, yes. I'm, like I know like the audience listening to this, right? So, um, this is <laughs> does he does he's he guys pandering? He's pandering. This yeah. is such a Pick great from your heart. Pick this from is your such heart. a great movie. Oh, well, because this is this is like I I know the generation. If this is a TikTok clip. Um, it's deck the halls. It's deck, deck the halls. The halls eh? Deck the halls. When they're putting the Christmas lights up, it's one of the greatest Christmas movies of all time. Mm. They're competing, and if you're telling me you guys haven't seen that, you're telling me that's, that's I've just, seen that. I should have yeah. got way more reaction think, on this. No, and that's a little solid. bit offended. I, that's solid. Deck the halls is so solid. I will have to watch. I it doesn't. It's not coming. To when me. he tries to make his light, his house light up from space. And they're competing, and he's and he's stealing the power from the person you know across what? the road. I was ne- I, I had a ne- ne- neglected childhood. Um, I've wow. seen it. I've seen it. Wow, once, and that goes to show how good of a pick it is. Uh-oh. Oh, guy, we can, can we even? This is this is ridiculous, guys. I don't even know if we can continue this draft. And I'm judging this. Yeah. This is that's okay. Um, I'm. The, and this is just to round out my en- entire lineup. I'm going with Christmas with the Cranks. Okay, solid. It's a good pick. Solid. It's a good pick. Christmas with the it's cranks. it's it's wholesome because it has it has like a it's a very wholesome story arc to it. Okay, yeah, it's a good Christmas like feeling it. movie. It leaves you wanting more. Like there, yeah. there's a lot left on the table here. Oh, you can't pick for, all of them for, so for your last pick. So th- this is your chance to really round it out to really drive it home. What is uh, your tenth well, pick? I'm gonna have to go. With a classic, mm-hmm. because I gotta go traditional. I've gone off the board with some deck of the halls. I'm 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 appealing to yeah. He's young. done really bad so far. So I'm, he's appeal- pick. I'm appealing. I'm appealing to old. I've done a fantastic. <laughs> this is the uh, Charlie Brown Christmas. Okay, there we that's go. That's good. Pick. Yeah, yeah, that's like top my, five all time. My mom's gonna be mad I didn't pick that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Charlie Brown because I watched that quite a bit. Uh, Charlie Brown Christmas. It's just hard to think about all. Yeah, sometimes. it is. Yeah. It is. Uh, um, so, some some notable uh, ones that are lift, left is, off. A Christmas Carol. Which yeah, is it's a, it's a, White that's Christmas. probably arguably the classic. The the <laughs> and and the reason it became such a classic is because the uh, the patent or the tr- whatever got lifted. Like you have to pay people to to play their movies right. for whatever reason. Like it lapsed, so it was just a free for all. Anyone can play it. So it just got broadcast on every single station. Yeah. for <laughs> like a few years, and right. that kind of like set its pace. And so, that's where tradition got set in. Tra- <laughs> yes, trading places uh, is one. Uh, and and one that I think a lot of people will argue should have been like taken pretty high up. Die Hard. Oh, I've heard that before, but I've never. I, it's not a tradition for me. I don't it, watch uh, that. It's not, it's not in my. Wow. I, I know Die Hard. By Die Hard is probably a lot of people's Die oh, Hard movie. And and that's the thing. So it's not essentially a Christmas movie, but it happens during Christmas. A lot of people argue it is a Christmas movie. Like they want an action flick. It's Christmas time. They're watching Die Hard. There's got to be more we're missing. I think there's a new oh, movie. They'll that let we, us know. There's one that we've definitely missed. It's called like Violent Night. Oh no! <laughs> Please, no, no. The Nightmare I'm not Before for Christmas. I'm not for it. A night. Oh, a Nightmare Before Christmas. But that that's a Halloween movie. To that's me. more like, Halloween. Yeah. That's it's too dark. Like why we? I hated that dark? as a kid. I was like, I don't want to watch this. I know. I saw the characters. I'm like, oh, turn it off. And 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 my girlfriend Shannon is, actually likes that, but she watches that at Halloween. So. Right. Right. <laughs> Christmas with the Cranks is a good one. It's like just all right. Let's let's go down the list. We're gonna take Hayden first because he won won the Rock Paper Scissors finally. Because I, I won. And, and it, it didn't even matter. And it, apparently it didn't even matter yeah, again. It just gets swiped again. Chippy's yeah. false sense of confidence. Get swiped again, uh, guy. Comment no. down below. This is we we've got Christmas vacation. Yikes. Lock. Santa Yikes. Claus. Lock. Yikes. Elf. That's an easy. That should have been number. Chippy Yikes. should have got that number two. Yikes. Rudolph. Yeah. And Christmas with the Cranks. That's the only I one mean, where I'm like, that could have been anything, but I really like that movie. These so. four are essentially number ones. Those are all home runs. Christmas Easy. Vacation is amazing. Santa Claus is a, it's a Christmas movie. All right, oh. thanks for watching, guys. Oh. I already won. So, <laughs> it's hilarious. We haven't even gone through my list, which is all banger. Okay, it's okay, a okay. Banger list. <laughs> the good news is there's a lot of great Christmas movies. Uh, and we're going down Chippy's list. We got Home Alone's got to be... The biggest. Cl- I'm sorry. I'm. Sorry. Hey, I, I'm the moderator yeah. here. Let me read it's the. It's gotta list. be the okay. biggest classic of all time. We got Home Alone. Oh, uh, whoa! Solid, solid, solid. solid movie. If you're not, if you're not watching that at Christmas, what are you doing with your life? The Grinch. Oh, the original. Original Grinch. That might probably is number one. The Grinch. The original Grinch is probably number one. 
now then we got four Christmases, which is you know we're going off the board. Which mm. is putting you on. Which is putting you fair, on. I did that one for, as, as a fair. as a gift to you guys. We got deck the halls. <laughs> oh, which is just Chippy, a great watch Chippy's as well. Just, Chippy's just which a great just salesman. Great here. watch <laughs> as well. These are all phenomenal and watches. We, and then we got Charlie Brown's Christmas, oh. which I would argue, you know, up there with Rudolph. Wow. I, would, I would give the edge to Rudolph, that I, animated, no, the, no, the plate. No, no. Yes. no Charlie Brown's way more classic than, than Rudolph. Not in the sense of only Christmas, though. A and Charlie Brown Christmas. And, yeah, and I would. But Charlie Brown is like a kind of a year round, like, great thing. Every holiday, fair, fair. Like the Rudolph no, is it's a Charlie Christmas. Brown Christmas it, is top it, three all time. It stands alone. All it's, time. It's, it's, I know. I'm just saying Charlie Brown as a character. Charlie Brown did lots. Yeah. Right. It's like Mickey Mouse Christmas or Donald Duck Christmas or yeah. right. The, Which arguably Will you could Ferrell say did that's a lot. Better. Will Ferrell did a lot. I know, but, no, but, Ru- but Rudolph, Rudolph Elf. only did Christmas. It's his own entity. Jeremy right? and I are on the same page here. Let's just what, yeah, what, well, yeah. <laughs> look. Looking at the list, I gotta give the win. Ding 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 ding. Oh, here we go. Atrocious. We've got the comedy with the Christmas vacation. We got Santa Claus. Real. What's good... Santa Claus? What's Santa Claus doing at number two? What's what do Santa you Claus mean? doing at number two? It, uh, it's That's... a Christmas. It's a list of the best Christmas oh, movies. Santa Claus at number Last two. Last I it's checked, Santa. It's just so wrong. There's no Grinch needs to be there. I mean, it's... I, I might have taken Elf or Rudolph above that, but no, I mean, he's just mad because he would have so, picked my picks if he could. So... I'm gonna let them do the voting because this voting here is atrocious. Go ahead. Go ahead. Atrocious. Welcome guys. to the Puck Daddy's Christmas, guys. Atrocious. Lots of fighting and bickering amongst yeah. us. Yes. <laughs> well, we just want to wonder thank. where I get my compete from. Yeah, Coach Chip has compete. We want to thank Doesn't everyone like for losing. who's become a Puck Daddy since we started this. Absolutely, and and everyone who ordered the uh, Puck Daddy merch and is wow. going to rock that Puck Daddy hoodie. Yeah, you open guys that up best. under the Christmas tree. You guys yeah. amazing. Do we have a shout out to you? Uh, I think we- I don't know if I. I don't have one prepared. Okay, so okay, okay. We'll have we'll, to do it in we'll the new year. We'll, we'll yeah. get you in the new year's, guys. Yeah. And and I got a call to hop on. I got to got to talk to Apple. No big deal. You know, a little call. We'll call with Apple. That. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll end it there, guys. Merry Christmas. We'll Merry see you in the Christmas. New year. Merry Christmas. Have uh, a great holiday. Oh, Chippy wins the draft again. No way. Debatable. Debatable. <laughs> <laughs> see you in the new year, see you guys. Still. Watch the world, juniors. Tune in. With my hockey stick, TSN gonna make a real difference. Feed the poor and heal. Ah!